Welcome to this tutorial on skincare. Uh, today I'm going to show you everything that I know about skincare and how I like to treat my skin. Because as we all know, climbing is pretty rough for the skin and having good skin is important. Okay, so the only things that I use are uh, anti-hydro and uh, this electric file. I never do this in public because I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> Like it's, I look pretty feminine doing it, but um, it, it really works well. And uh, these are not, I'm not paid to say this, they, these are not sponsors of mine. Alright, so I'm going to show you now what I use when my skin is good. And then I'm going to show you the different type of cuts and uh, flappers and how I treat those. Without any further ado, let's just skip to it. Voiceover mode activated. Gotta love voiceover. Okay, so this is the file that I use. This is an electric one, but you can also just use a normal file. Uh, so I try to uh, get the cracks and also around the finger. I avoid the middle part of the finger because that's already worn out. So you don't need to wear that out even more. And this will make the skin heal faster than if I didn't do anything to it. So get the cracks and the sides of the finger all around, maybe even the nail. Okay, so anti-hydral. I've talked about this before, but I'm gonna do it again. So I just put a little dot on every finger and I spread it out to both hands and uh, something like this. I try to avoid the cracks and I only get the tip of each finger. Speed it up a little bit. Just a thin layer. Something like that, yes. And I apply it like once a month or maybe twice a month, but that's max. So I'll just go to sleep with this like that and uh, wash it off the next morning and I'm good to go. And how healthy anti-hydral is, I don't know. So uh, you should do your own research. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few different examples of uh, how your skin can be worn out now. I've just stolen these photos from Google. My apologies. Okay, so this first one is evenly worn out skin. You can see there are no cracks or anything. The skin looks pretty nice except for those bloody parts in the middle there. But this is evenly worn out. So I would use uh, the same technique as I did when uh, my skin was good. I will just sandpaper the sides and maybe also the cracks a little bit. And I would not use any climbing balm like Climb on or Climb Skin Spain on these. Okay, so the next one is a flapper. I think most of us have had this at one point. And uh, what I do is just cut away the dead skin. And it looks bad, but it actually heals a lot faster than it looks. I would even use some uh, Climb on or Climb Skin Spain or something once this has started to heal a little bit because they tend to get really dry and crack up. Probably also tape it. If you tape this, you can easily continue training or climbing. This is flaky skin. Flaky skin is really slippery and uh, I prefer to sandpaper all of the flakes off to make it even. I sometimes get flaky skin when I climb a lot inside and I even like to use Climb On or some other product similar to Climb On because flaky skin tends to be really dry. The last type of cut is a split or a crack or a splitter, whatever you call it. And these things are so annoying. They take a long time to heal, but there are some things that you can do to make them heal faster. And that is again sandpapering. I would just sandpaper the whole thing so that there's less skin around the crack. And I would even use some climb on in there, especially if you're having a rest day or before a rest day when you still have some time to wash off because uh, I hate climbing with uh, climb skin or climb on on my hands. So I would do this before a rest day, put a little bit of climb on or something in there. Voiceover mode off. Okay, so I hope that was useful. Take care of your skin and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe as always. See you next time.